Ladies and gentlemen, any act is only as good as their last show. Well, this guy's last show was canceled. Please welcome, all the way from the side of the room, Rob Weinstock. Yay! You guys are so nice. Good evening, welcome to the Magic Castle. My name's Rob Weinstock, I'm from Las Vegas, and I'd like to start out with a fun little rope trick I learned in prison. I'm kidding, of course, I learned this when I got out. Now, um, you sir, you look like you've done time. <laughs> Actually, check this out. Make sure that's a real piece of rope, like the kind you might keep in your trunk with the duct tape and shovel. <laughs> real, yes? What is your name, ma'am? Ginger. Ginger. <laughs> Good memory. <laughs> that's two syllables. That's, you know, that's a commitment. Ginger, I have scissors here. Hold on to those, <laughs> don't run with them. All right. <laughs> All right, you're gonna take those scissors in a second and with the stealth and precision of a surgeon. Uh, you're not a surgeon, are you? No, sixth grade you are, teacher. Sixth grade teacher, close yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some school districts, you gotta cut them to That's keep right. them in line, right? <laughs> Anyhow, you're gonna take those scissors, you're gonna cut through the rope like that, but use the si are you okay? Yes. Oh gosh, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. It's okay, it's all right, well, I'll be tamer. Right. <laughs> Sixth grade, yeah, right. No, you're gonna actually cut through the rope in the middle so we end up with even pieces, Ginger, so they're the same length. Yeah, because if they're different lengths, it's a lot more challenging for me to restore it back to one piece, okay? Oh, <laughs> Please, hold your applause till I'm done. Please, hold your applause till I'm done like this gentleman's doing. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? I've seen that. I've seen that expression in therapy. <laughs> All right. All right. So say stop when I get to the middle, Ginger. Stop. Right there. No, 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 a little bit more. A little more. Okay, Math teacher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your geometry skills are quite adept. Go on and cut through the rope. Don't cut me. I don't have health insurance. Don't tell Obama. All right, I'm gonna put this away just in case you don't like the end of the trick he was telling me about your temper earlier. That's the part. Wow, you squealed. That's all right. That's the part where you restore, or you cut. That's the part where I restore. Thanks. I know, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> the rest of my act, eh. Anyhow, the reason this works is you cut the rope in the middle. Ginger cut the rope in the middle. She could have cut the ends off like that. And then I would have had an endless piece of rope like this, which is no good. That's why I don't take chances. I carry with me spare ends. And I stay up late at night thinking about this, so you'll never have to. You see, with spare ends, if I just place that on the rope, I could show you a little rope trick. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are awesome. Seriously, I could, I could not ask for a nicer group, because that'd be rude. <laughs> now again, a piece of rope has one middle and two ends. You'll never see a piece of rope with one middle and three ends, because that is like a rope and a half. They don't make them like that. You have to have an even number of ends on a rope like four ends. And I used to do this till I had 368 ends, but people would fall asleep like nine hours into the trick. So let's just end it right there. Let me just move these ends where they belong down on this side, because with these ends on this side, we have two ropes. Like when you cut it, remember? It seems so long ago at this point. <laughs> now, what I'm about to show you is an illusion, because everything else is real. <laughs> so that is loop one. This is loop two. And the reason I say it's an illusion is not, well, because they look like one's a little bit larger than the other, but if I start shaking the seat, one gets even larger as one gets smaller, and that's the illusion. It's based on Pogendorf's theorem of inequality. Have you heard of it? No. Because I made it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually it's an illusion, not because we had two loops, but we only had one rope. Whoa. Like when you cut it <laughs> so long ago. Now, actually this is not an illusion. This is just the fact that I had a lot of time alone growing up. Watch how fast I tie the knot on the rope. On three, one, two, what? I know, right? right. <laughs> Another useless skill. <laughs> okay, watch this end on this side. Ready? Through the air, to that side. Watch this end work its way up the road, 
rope to that side, that's the middle, and that's the end. Any questions on that? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. You take that home, you put that underneath your pillow, and tomorrow you'll be missing a tooth. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'll just put that up over here at the side. They got union people that can clean that up. Actually, I'm going to show you one of my favorite card tricks. And it's important. Um, what is your name, ma'am? Kimberly. Will you give those a mix or a shuffle or a cut? I'm going to roll up my sleeves so you don't think I'm cheating. I'm totally cheating. <laughs> I just don't want Kimberly thinking it. Where are you from? Upland. Oh, Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys could carpool. Reduce your carbon footprint here. You could shuffle those and mix them as much as you like, Kimberly, because I'm actually going to use a different pack for this. <laughs> and, no, I'm kidding. I'll use that one. It's, I'm pretty low budget, actually. Well done. The last time I had someone mix these, they actually they mixed them like this, face up. Yeah, I know, face down. I think they were from Downland or something, the town just below you. See, they were facing up and down and back to back. But when you mixed them, they were all the same. Except for the King of Hearts, which was the card I was thinking of. <laughs> Let's try an experiment. Any card, Kimberly? No, it was a two of hearts. <laughs> you should let me do the card trick. <laughs> you said, Queen, is Queen of Diamonds your favorite card, actually? No. Just take any card you like, and whatever card it is, and show the Queen of Diamonds, or whatever you pick, and just show the Queen of Diamonds to everyone I won't look. Oh. Wait, hold on. I'm not supposed to know you picked that. That's cheating, and we only do that in Vegas. When there's no money involved, it's called magic. <laughs> so if you will, Kimberly, just a different card, if you will. A different one this time. No, that's the same one. See, that's the. Uh, see, these are the different ones. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. You know what? It's not really so important what you pick. Just touch one face up. It doesn't even matter. Okay, fine. Take the queen. <laughs> you saw me. I tried to stop her. She's really, you should go in the cell. You're really persistent. <laughs> Will you do me a favor and write your name across the face of it? Actually, uh, write it bigger so we can see. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Just put your initials on it. It starts with a K. I know because I was hooked on phonics, which isn't really funny because I had to go to rehab for it. I ended up go relapsing. I was not, I'm on the streets like begging for schwas. It was really ugly. <laughs> Did I also mention I'm uh, hooked on solvent fumes? <laughs> it's, it's all the buzz without the hangover. Plus, it doesn't show up on those random drug tests. You know what I'm talking about. I can tell. <laughs> Let me just get rid of this. See, it's back in my pocket. Oh. I know, the other stuff. All right. I'll just fill her to get to that point. Put my act. Uh, will you do me a favor? Place your card, Kimberly, anywhere you like on top of the pack. All right, she's on to me. I can tell by that laugh, isn't she? All right, maybe in the center, face down, though. Yeah, it's much harder for me to find it that way. Now, have you been to Vegas? Yes. Do you gamble at all when you go to Vegas? Yes. It's a safe bet to say your card's in the pack, yes? Would it shake your confidence if I just reached into my pocket and pulled that out? Well, that's your card. The trick's based on trust, by the way. Since nobody, <laughs> nobody trusts me, I guess we'll have to prove it. Wow. Wow. See, it starts in the pack, it ends in my pocket. Now, magicians never repeat tricks, but it's a good thing I'm a card cheat, so I can do it. Watch. In the pack, yes? Yeah, yeah. Or oh my God. <laughs> in the pocket. <laughs> okay, we'll do this till you like the trick, okay? <laughs> <laughs> or till 8 o'clock, because we have show reservations. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. That's in there. What, what's your name? Jennifer, if you will, you could reach into my pocket. Wait, I'm sorry, I should get it. I don't want to end up in the membership director's office for sensitivity training again. <laughs> Not only is this Kimberly's card, but it's changed to a five of diamonds and your initials are gone. <laughs> Can you hold that? I messed up. I'm sorry. I'm not as good as those guys on TV, but I am considered the best in my price range. <laughs> in this room right now. Always have a backup plan, right? 
Oh. 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 <laughs> you are so much nicer than they were in prison. <laughs> I mean that. The last group I was like to half lying, but you, I really do mean it. Now I'll show you how this works. What I'm doing is I take Kimberly's card and I lose it into the pack, right? Actually, before I lose it, I'm sorry, you pick the card. Then we lose it into the pack. Actually, you put your initials on it first, <laughs> so we know there's only one. I forget how this goes. Oh yeah, you put your initials on it, right. And then it ends up in the center of the pack over here, and then the middle over here, and that's not your card on top, but don't blink. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen before it happens. See, that's where well, I'm breaking a rule in magic right now. We never tell you what's gonna happen before it happens. We need the element of surprise. So I'm gonna tell you this is going to change into your card. I'm gonna have you watching the card because we try to get you to look away and do the secret moves. It's gonna happen while you're watching it. And I'll, I'll lead up to it by saying one, two, right before I get to three, it will happen. On three, not before, on, here we go, ready? On three, do not blink, one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, you can do that too. Thank you. You could do that too if you grew up without a social life. <laughs> and I wish that were a joke, Jennifer. <laughs> really, I do. Anyhow, we call this a crimp in Vegas. In California, you just call that cheating. <laughs> and on three, it will jump one, two, three. Oh, it gets better. Thank you. You can clap if you want. I don't, you know, a lot of, you know, seriously, a lot of entertainers are looking at me, they get thrown off by people clapping, but not me, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. I really am. So, Kimberly, you've seen me place the card in the middle probably more than you care to by this point in your evening. If you will, just push that right in the center, all the way in, and right in front of you on three, it will jump to the top, boom, three. No, top of the box, I meant. Oh. 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 Now, I'm not gonna fool myself twice. I have my eye on the box this time, all right? Let's try this again. Kimberly, I'll do this right by the box. Go on and push that right in there all the way in. Now, I would've made sure, I would've made sure that was my car. Because <laughs> I have trust issues. This is the grand finale, which means big finish in some language I don't even speak. Will you open the box and look inside? Make sure it's empty, no trap doors, springs, hidden mirrors. The stuff my friends Penn and Teller would use because they have something called, what they call it? A budget. <laughs> and close the box if you will, Kimberly. Place the box on the table, it hand on top of the box. Cover it completely. This card is going to end up underneath your hand. And if I mess this up, if it doesn't end up underneath your hand, Jennifer is going to pay you 20 bucks. <laughs> Notice how I minimize my risk. Here we go. On three. Oh, the suspense. One, two, three. Did you feel that? Lift your hand. Were you pushing down? Get in there. Underneath your pillow, and tomorrow there'll be a hundred dollar bill there. <laughs> it, well, no, uh, you know, it's, I, I gotta, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna lose a tooth, but you could pick which tooth. How's that? Before I continue, I just want to bring this up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm feeling flush. <laughs> a little, little poker joke for you. You could use that one. You could use that one for your sixth graders. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna show you, I'd love to show you a trick that I'm internationally known for. I have family in Canada. <laughs> These actually were my grandfather's coins. And I know because I took them. <laughs> you could check them out if you'd like. These are Morgan dollars, they're silver. They're from the 1800s. And my grandfather's still alive. He's 97 years old, he lives in Brooklyn, New York. He spends half his day reading the New York Times, and the other half 
looking for these. <laughs> Have you seen these before? Nope. I just showed them to you. I mean, you'll work perfect. <laughs> so. And if you want, you can feel there's no adhesive on my hands because you're going to think like th there's no way this could happen. And I would have thought that too before I wasted eight years learning it. <laughs> Here we go. But look at me now, right? <laughs> Here we go. They switch places. <laughs> that was year one. <laughs> Let's skip to year eight. Wow. 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 Thank you. Can you see okay back there in the cheap seats? <laughs> okay, good. Well, thank you for, for joining us. My name is Rob Weinstock. If, if you didn't catch the beginning, I'll start again. I'm kidding, I won't. <laughs> Instant replay, do not blink, because if you blink, you'll miss everything. And how this works, a lot of people think I use extra coins, and I don't. I just use what you see here. If you see four, turn to three, it's because one has traveled. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Needs to be pretty speechless, too. <laughs> but not for long. Watch. Wow. Two down, two to go. Now, the thing is, you don't get any sensory evidence when that, this happens. So listen, you'll hear it. <laughs> you like that, huh? Not bad for a middle class white boy from Jersey. <laughs> Jennifer, place out your hand. The clean one. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that was the clean one. Okay. Place it out into the light here so everyone can see. Jennifer, you're gonna close your hand tight around those. Turn your hand over this way. Tell me if you feel the final coin. You ready? Did you feel that? Turn your hand over. How many? <gasps> <gasps> Own show in Vegas. <laughs> now I'm gonna do this again Vegas style. Normally that's where we charge $100 a head with a two drink minimum. <laughs> but not tonight. I'm gonna do this with three coins at the fingertips. Do not blink. This is the hardest sleight of hand trick I know with coins. Here we go. Oh my. I know it's like magic, right? <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you there's no such thing. But the Easter Bunny and Santa, that's, that's oh, real. Okay. All right, that was a little fast. Let me slow it down this time. That was still too, too fast, wasn't it? Too fast? All right, slower. <laughs> I, I'm kidding, I haven't done it, it's still over here. You see, there's three. And Jennifer, you were such a good sport helping me out. You can keep those. I'm just going to hold on to this one. Don't ever say I never gave you nothing because that is just terrible grammar, isn't it? Am I right? Plus, it's a lie. I just did give you nothing. Except, uh, hopefully, a wonderful experience. But I'd like to end the set with a trick that is near and dear to my heart. It's like really the reason I got into magic. The rest was just filler. I just wanted to do this trick all day long when I learned it. Except, you can't have an act when you have one trick. Plus, you have to earn people's trust when you do this stuff. Because you can't just go in and say, wow, that's a nice ring. <laughs> Can I borrow it? You see, if I did that right away, she'd say no, but the fact that I've earned her trust... Okay, does anybody have a ring? I, could... I don't blame you, I was just testing it. Anybody have a ring? You will get it back. It's not that kind of a trick, I assure you. If it was, I would have taken it already. Kimberly? Thank you, Kimberly. Um, so you're from Upland? Is that far from here? No. Okay. The reason I borrowed your ring, if I were wearing a ring, and I gave it a shake, and it changed into a key. You'd think, big deal, it's a trick ring. I mean, that's what I would think. But that's not a trick ring. That is Kimberly's ring. 
But that's not your ring, Kimberly. That's the key to my mailbox. <laughs> Guess what's in my mailbox? Oh, no, my mail. <laughs> but I love your logic. It's like really super fun. <laughs> See, a second ago, your ring was in my hand. Here, that key was where I keep all my keys in my back pocket, which I have not gone near until now. Look. And it belongs on that hook. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Is anybody interested in a diesel Volkswagen? <laughs> really good deal. <laughs> All right, let me get the fingerprints off this, Kimberly, because I was never here, if you know what I'm saying. On my glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> Kimberly, thank you for trusting me with this. You take your ring. What the heck? That is not your ring, ma'am. Yours is the one on my glasses. <laughs> we should trade. If you will take, actually take this one. It doesn't even fit over my first phalange. I love using that word. It's great except in Scrabble because there's too many letters. You just pull that through. You take that. The good news is now that's a real diamond. I have to return this to Walmart. I stole it from Target, but Walmart takes everything back. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great time tonight at Castle. Thank you. My name is Rob Weinstock. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha.